Stokes sings Kiwis. All-rounder Ben Stokes said aside his off-field troubles to steer England to a six-weekend win in the second one-day international against New Zealand on Wednesday. The 26 years old produced a man-of-the-match performance in just his second appearance for England since being sidelined over a nightclub incident five months ago. Stokes took two wickets for 42, then hit an unbeaten 63 as England easily chased down New Zealand's target of 224 at Mount McBnoy. It was good to get a bit of time out in middle, he said after England leveled the five-match series one by one. It's good to get out here and train and implement in the games to make sure I was out there at the end. Hopefully, it's a stepping stone for other games coming up. Stokes only joined England this month after pleading not guilty in a British court to a charge of affairy with the controversy forcing him out of the Australian leg of their tour, including the Ashes. After England finished on 225 for 4 in reply to New Zealand's 223 all out, Captain Ewan Morgan was full of praise for his star all-rounder. Ben's a big character, big in our changing room. He leaves everybody in the side when he performs like he did today, he said. It's great to see him back in fine form. Black caps fall short. Then Bold made Everly in roads and New Zealand tried to define their modest total Disloading Jason Roy for 8 and Joey Root for 9. Johnny Bristow made a rapid fire 37. The Morgan and Stokes dug in on 88 round partnership that had England at 1 and 44 for 3 after 25 overs. Morgan notched his first OA 50 in 11 innings of 48 balls before departing on 62 before Stokes bought up 50 of 55 54 balls with a six aged over the keeper's head earlier black cap spinner mitchell strainer scored his maiden limited over half century as the new zealand tail to give the home team's score some respectability Strainer's unbeaten 63 of 52 balls was the highlight of New Zealand's innings, with in form opener Martin Guttil also scoring 50. But a super fielding display from England saw New Zealand bowled for 223 with two balls remaining. England pulled off a string of sharply taken catches and ran out for four batsmen. Ensuring that every chance their bowlers created result in a weekend. New Zealand never recovered from an early double blow by Woke, who dismissed Colin Munro for one in his first over, then Mark Chapman for the same score in his second. David Whaley's prowess in the field was responsible for Ross Taylor's departure on tail, swooping on the ball at a backward point and firing into Joe Butter to break the stumps. The loss of Taylor, a century maker in the opening feature, left New Zealand on 48 for 3 with Guptill holding the first half of the innings together. His half century came out 84 balls but he failed to push on and was caught by Roy on 50 trying to sweep Ali's spin over the boundary. Colin D. Gandromi contributed 38 but then it was left to Steiner to provide la late resistance. The lanky spinner hit a match winning 45 in the opening match, but his heroics at Mount Mogane were not enough to get the black caps over the line. Dear viewers, please hit the subscribe button and also click on bell icon so that you will not miss any of our future videos. 